Hello everybody, this is Aida Damisiewicz from 13 Arts and today in this quick tutorial I want to show you how to collage papers and other materials. Uh, what I'm after is to create a nice background and with this background uh, I will create a kind of a layout on a canvas. But my main goal is to teach you and show you different techniques what you can mix uh, to create a nice collage background for any kind of project. So here on the canvas I have applied the paper. This is a scrapbooking paper from Rosalie collection, but you can also use old books, old newspapers or other materials. Here I'm using scrapbooking papers and acetates. So I'm uh, 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 sticking everything with gel medium. Uh, I have shredded a piece of paper for my first layer. The second layer is the foil. And now I'm applying a modeling paste with a stencil, uh, just to add a little bit of dimension. To add some extra glittery shine, I'm using copper glitter and I'm uh, adding it while modeling paste is still wet. This way it will stick to the modeling paste and it will stay there when it's dry. So I'm drying the um, modeling paste with a heat gun and next I want to uh, mix the, the edges. I want to blend them. That's why I'm using a white gesso but also as a, additionally uh, I'm using texture brush to add extra texture um, because I wanted uh, this uh, background to be a little bit more textured, not flat. That's why texture brush is fantastic because it will leave you nice texture and 13 Arts Gesso is very thick, so it's really easy to work with this technique. To add more layers, I will use some scrapbooking paper from A6 paper pad, also from Rosalie collection. So I just picked one uh, paper with a text and shredded uh, the paper with some pieces. And I will stick them to my background with gel medium, just to make it more interesting, just to collage more elements. So you can add as many elements as you like. And uh, the more you add, the more uh, texture and the more layers you will get. And everything uh, actually matches, uh, so the same collection you, uh, you are already safe to use all the papers because they all match together. You can add as many layers and as many elements as you like. As you can see, uh, I have already sticked uh, um, a leaf uh, under the photo and also I stick a little, a little piece of foil for the crown and the queen uh, title. To make your background even more interesting when you have a stick to different elements, the good idea is to use some background stamp uh, just to blend everything together, to add some extra uh, contrast to your project. So the stamping a technique, it's really nice with collaging because it blends everything and puts everything together and makes it complete. So right now we could leave the background as it is, but I have decided to add some extra elements, some roses. So you can also add uh, as a collage element, uh, just cut out uh, paper pieces from different uh, collections, from different papers, from newspaper. So it's a very easy way to create nice background. Some of the papers you can just stick uh, to your background with gel medium, it will be flat. But if you're creating a project like that, uh, like a layout or something more dimensional, you can stick the elements with 3D tape. It's totally up to you. It, it depends what kind of project you are creating. And basically we are done, but you can add as many uh, pieces of paper, as many pieces of shredded or cut elements on your background uh, as you like. So here it is, it's a ready to go background. Uh, to finish my artwork, uh, I will probably add some extra elements and some color and you will see everything on the photographs. Thank you very much and bye bye.